Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 618. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my College Upset link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 615 to 622. Hey, we have a great keyboard shortcut in this video. Uh, Dave Excel Master uh, from Florida sent this in. Uh, the keyboard shortcut for today's date is control semicolon. What is so awesome about that keyboard shortcut is if you're entering transactional data, you're entering in whatever uh, date data, and you're repeating this 10, 20 times per day, boy, is it great to have a keyboard shortcut for that. The time is not control semicolon, it's control shift semicolon. Totally cool. But here is what Dave said. He needs a date and time stamp. So he went control semicolon space control shift semicolon. Now that makes sense. You can it's just this keyboard shortcut inserts data so you can in essence combine them all together. Now when I hit enter, this is actually entered just like a normal date time. If I were to highlight this and control 1 for format cells, number, or gen and hit general. That applies the general format. Or, great keyboard shortcut, control plus shift plus tilde. That is the keyboard shortcut for general number format. I use that all the time. If you do date and time, boy, do you love this keyboard shortcut. Control shift tilde. Sure enough, it entered it phi. There is the serial number for today's date. There is the time, a decimal between 0 and 1. It represents the proportion of one 24-hour day. This represents the number of days since December 31st, 1899. That would be 0. 1, 1, 1900 would be 1. And this is both together. We see the actual integer, which is number of days, and the decimal, which is proportion of 24-hour day. Now I'm going to control Z. Totally awesome keyboard shortcut. All right, we'll see you next trick.